Hi students, today's topic is center of mass of two point masses. Center of mass, it is denoted by the letter CM, center of mass of two point masses. Two point masses means one is M1 and, and another one is M2. What is mean by center of mass? Center of mass means that. See, one object, so contains what? So many particles are there, I mean points are there. Each point or each particle has some mass, right? Over particle, ko, over point, and the point is not particles, so we have to mass. Right? M1, M2, M3, M4, up to n number of particles are there. So the entire mass of the body, right, appear to be concentrated in a common point. In the body, you have total mass, over particle, or mass, or common point, la concentrate. So the entire mass of your body is concentrated in a common point is called center of mass. Okay, well, see. If you want to choose the particle, one, two. This is M1, for example. M, M1. This is M2 means in between these two point masses, center of mass is there. Up center of mass of two point masses we want to calculate. With the help of the equations of what? Center of mass. Here we have to center of mass. Formula along x axis. In the formula, xm is equal to mass m1. And the m1 is a particular distance x1. Second particle m2 x2 by m1 plus m2. It is along y axis. In the ycm. Center of mass along the y axis. m1 y1 plus m2 y2 by m1 plus m2. And the other so, we will use the axis to the x-axis. First, take a coordinate system. This is a coordinate system. Coordinate system is coordinate axis. X, Y, Z, so long. We will use the two dimension. So, this is x-axis. So, this is y-axis. Okay, two axes. If the coordinate system is going to fix the origin. Origin is in the point. X axis is going to fix the starting point. Origin is going to fix the origin. Okay, but the origin is what? Arbitrary. Arbitrary is going to be separate. That is going to separate. In the x axis, there are two point mass. So, see the first point mass M1 and this is the M2. Right? In the end point mass is called midpoint. This is the center of mass CM. See the mass M1 which is kept at a distance x1 from the origin and M2 which is kept at a distance x2 from the origin and the center of mass which is kept at a distance yes x cm here yeah, center of mass along x axis if you want to choose it ok va so this is diagram this is one of our three cases on the discuss panna paro first case what is it? both the point masses right we have center of mass calculate panna no then how do you know both the point masses both the point masses in the M1 and M2 on the x axis. X axis. That is positive and negative. Positive x axis. On positive x axis. This is the first condition. Okay, ba? check. See, we know the formula. Okay. What is the formula? Xcm is equal to M1 x1 plus M2 x2 by M1 plus M2. So, M1, M2, where is it? Positive x-axis. The M1, M2, positive x-axis. Okay. So, the origin is arbitrary. I mean separated. Taniya, taniya. So, origin is thandi. Here is the positive x-axis. The point masses. The midpoint is center of mass. Okay. So, substitute the formula. Center of mass. Okay. Where along the positive x-axis. Of two point masses is equal to formula A formula da M1 M1 distance and x1 
plus m2 the same distance m2 x2 by m1 plus m2 this up to n is the same plus etc plus m and n exam there are many particles we choose two point mass so this is equation number one this is the same okay and see that the origin right or when the origin coincides with any one of the masses second case another in the origin in the end mass layer यदाल और मास हैं उनके कोइंस हैं कोइंस में ना दे यस द ऑर्जिनो इन द मास इन द पॉइंट अपीर करो कोइंस हैं वो रेल लाइन ना वर्मा रखने ना अभी द लाइन ना इंजॉय करें इप्पर इसलिए मासस ना इधर करें अभी ना यम्मो ने डिगर ये दोनों डिगर में भी यम्मो ने डिगर इधर डायग्राम अदा बीएर करो वर स्टार्टिंग लाइन से सिप्ली कर दीजिए, इधर एक्स ऑन नंबर कर दीजिए, करेक्ट आ? इप्पे दार्ज ना बी ऐड दे, इंगे क्या करें? ये दार्ज और मास अंदर कोइंसेट पंटर ना दे, इप्पे इधर दां वही एक्सेस, इधर वंदी एक्स एक्सेस। तो मास सेंटर ले रखूं बोले, अलर्टी पार में ये मोने ग्राम मास ऑर्जिन लंदी यह किन्हें पात्र पन दे x c m then m two को अंदे distance इन्हें दे x two तो फॉर्म में अंदे the same therefore the center of mass of two point masses along the x axis is equal to फॉर्म में अंदे m one x one m one x one x one वाली अंदे zero अपने m1 into zero plus m2 x2 x2 रुकिए डिस्टेंस x2 by m1 plus m2 अपने ये पर वंदे ऑर्जिन वंदे ये दाल और मासा वंदे पॉइंट सेट पन्ना दो इसलिए आंधा मासा डर दायक से सोले ट्रैवल पन्ना दो सो अपने ना वंदे the given equation is what is simplified right so you'll get the equation x c m is equal to m one into zero zero plus m two x two by m one plus m two. So it is the second case. So it is the first case. Okay. And see the third one. When the origin, when the origin coincides with Center of mass with the center of mass C M center of mass coincide पन्ना अब इन दैक्स सिंगा और नो इन दैट अटला और नो ओके बा सो पर फर्स्ट अभी वाली करें गेनर के मास यम वन इनके मास है ना दे यम टू इधर एक्स एक्स आया रहने चाहिए इधर ना दे फर्स्ट स्टार्टिंग ला यम वन तांटी ना दे रहने चाहिए करेक्ट आई इधर वन तो वही एक्� if you have a distance x under the chain, you have a center of mass of the x cm, and then you have a chain. If you have an axis up here, you have to think about it. Origin coincides with the center of mass. Then the center of mass is in the line. Then this is the y-axis. Okay, then the center of mass is in the line. Center of mass is in the origin. The origin is in the center of mass of the distance x cm. Then the origin is in the line. The distance is in the line. x cm equal to zero. See the mass m1 which one is in the negative axis. Here the location of mass m1 is negative. Positive x axis is the negative x axis. Up in negative minus x. Negative x axis. Up in origin in the m1 molecular distance for the x1 solution though. Is the negative in the minus x1. Okay. Well, that is the origin in the m2 molecular distance in the x2 plus x2. You know the positive x axis. If I calculate it, therefore, center of mass formula. Formula is x c m is equal to m1 x1 plus m2 x2 by m1 plus m2. This is the general formula. 
ஓகே இதுல நான் இப்ப சப்ஸ்டிட் பண்ண போறேன் என்ன வரும் xm xm வேல்யூ என்னது 0 m1 x1 x1 ங்கறது என்ன டிஸ்டன்ஸ் இல்லையா இங்க என்னது -x1 plus m2 x2 அதே தான் x2 by m1 plus m2 m1 plus m2 இங்க வந்துச்சு என்ன ஆயிரும் m1 0 m1 plus m2 is equal to minus m1 into x1 m1 x1 plus m2 x2 சரியா இப்போ 0 இங்கே ஈக்குவல் டு 0 அப்போ 0 is equal to minus m1 x1 plus m2 x2 இப்போ அந்த m1 x1 minus m1 x1 லெஃப்ட் சைடு வந்தா plus m1 x1 equal to m2 x2 சோ இப்போ ரெண்டுமே ஈக்குவலா இருக்கு சோ ரெண்டுமே ஈக்குவலா இருந்துச்சுனா இந்த ஈக்குவேஷனுக்கு பேரு பிரின்சிபல் ஆஃப் மொமெண்ட்ஸ் ஓகேவா சோ இது வந்து ஒரு ஃபைவ் மார்க் கொஸ்டின் படிச்சுக்கோங்க ஓகே